I don't know where. If I put it down, if I put it here, you could see me juicing, but then you can't talk to me. So I don't know. I don't know. Juicing. You could talk to me too, honey. Yeah, it locked up. <clears throat> Not sure what its problem is. Coming down, coming down, 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 down. There we go. So yeah, usually they, if I would go to the hospital, they kind of put my pancreas and everything on a grate. But I am so hungry. So I'm going to try just carrots, apples, and melon is like really easy on your system. So I'm going to try some melon. I think I'm more worried right now because I lost a, a friend. I gotta throw out my spoon. I lost a friend to a similar disease. I think that her death just made me remember how delicate I am. But I have to keep reminding myself that she was an alcoholic and pancreas and alcohol don't go together. So, um, you know, I have to remember that I don't drink and my old friend, you know, was doing some serious drinking and drugs. So I, I got to I got to shouldn't let it get to me because, you know, I don't drink. I wonder if this will work as a melon bar. I think I, I had a melon bar. I could have sometimes I get rid of things that I don't use. Well, I have this little, it's a coffee scoop, but it's really the same thing as a melon baller. Except the melon, dang it, the melon baller has like an ejector button that ejects it. You want to see something? No? I wanted to see if my dog would eat a piece of him or something. Ooh. Turned his nose up. Is that enough? Is that enough for you? Yeah. You want some melon? No. It's good for you. Anyway, my mom's been on me too. <clears throat> juice because usually when I was juicing regularly I was doing better and I kind of got lost yeah it locked up I get busy and I forget to take care of myself 
take care of everybody else when I forget to take care of me. So melon is like pretty much water. So I figure I'll And then I'll make some carrot juice to take in my room in the morning. It's me, bud. Leftover spaghetti? I love, I love pasta. Come here, bud. Look at how big bud got. This is Biter. This is him. This is a monster. He bites everybody. Right? Last week he bit my son again. Not the one that you always see. I have an older son. He bit him. Doesn't he look so innocent? I know, doesn't, he looks so innocent, doesn't he? He just looks so gentle and kind, so relaxed. I mean, he is definitely, he's just laying back here in my arms. Look at my baby boy. Mm -hmm. I don't understand why he's such a meanie. <laughs> He's like doing a back bend. Yeah, I love him so much, but he is, hold on, let me put him down. He's definitely a pain because I can't take him anywhere because I don't know what he's going to do if he's going to bite somebody. I take him upstairs to my mom. He gets along with my mom and dad. But like right now, my sister's upstairs. And if I don't watch him, I can't trust him. You know? He tends to... I saw him go after my son. Hush. And he... My son was walking... Starting to walk down the hallway. And he like ran around the back of him and went after his calves. Not provoked. I mean, my, my kid was just walking to the bathroom, I think. And he has bit my brother a couple times. It's usually walking away when he gets them. But five seconds before he bit my son, he was doing the sitting pretty begging for him because my kid was eating something. And so when there's food involved, the dog loves everybody. But as soon as he got up and was just walking around, that's when he bit him. But it just seems so weird that a few like seconds before he was begging from my son and you know, I, but he's, he's a choppers. He's always eating. He has food bowls full 24 seven. He has a special food bowl in my room that's a toy that he has to take the puzzle pieces out that have a string on them and that's his favorite. So there's three bowls, a head of the dog, a stomach, and the tail. And so that's full. He pulls out the, the cap. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm that way too. But he's always got, his food is always available. So he has that dish in my bedroom. And then in the kitchen, he's got a big bowl that's full and a water bowl right next to it. Actually, he's going over there now to eat something. He thinks I'm cooking something, so he's gruffing at me, like, give me something to eat kind of thing. He's making his give me it now growl, bark, gruff. I call it a gruff. Yeah, I don't understand how he can be kind to somebody, beg for food, and then 
a minute later, try to bite them. Like, they were just feeding him. They're sitting down. He comes over and he does this sitting on his butt with his feet in front of him looking cute. Begs for food. They feed him. But then, as soon as they get up, he's barking, growling, and he will bite them. So, I, that I don't understand why he'll beg and act all cute for food, but then, you know, he's gonna, he's gonna get them. So, that's the only thing I can't really, I don't like to take him around the family, like when family comes to visit, because I'm so unsure what he's going to do. Like, he's very unpredictable. And, like, he's never broke my brother's, the skin on my kid, or my brother, or his wife. He's also, the very first person was my brother's new wife. Well, she's not a new wife anymore, but he bit her. The very first one. She was the first one. And then my brother a couple times. Yeah, I just can't trust them. I wish I could because, you know, people come over and they have their dogs out in my yard, running loose or tied up in the yard. I'm even afraid that he is going to bully their dog and bite their dog. I really don't trust them, but I love Dotsons. Wiener dogs, that's what we wanted. We wanted a wiener dog or a pug. But Bud needed a home. So we took Bud. And I do love him so much. He's an awesome dog. He's so obedient to me. I mean... I clean his teeth. And I'm not talking about I clean his teeth with a toothbrush. I'm talking about with the metal things that the dentist use or the hygienist uses on our mouth. I have a same set that I use on him. And he doesn't like it, but he lets me clean his teeth. So there's $300 to get their teeth cleaned. And he's had it done professionally but he needs it often because he has poor, I don't know, for some reason, his mouth is just not in great condition, even with care. So I usually clean his teeth with the hygienic set about every three months. And to me, the fact that he will let me clean his teeth is an amazing thing. Because all he's got to do is try to bite me or, you know, keep biting the tools, I wouldn't be able to do it, but he doesn't do any of that. He is so docile to me. The dog is so aggressive. It just, it makes no sense. So, the melon's pretty good. At least it feels like I have something in my stomach. really glad I bought the melon home. I think I will make some carrot apple juice and then save it. You know, like make um, <coughs> enough for the day. And then put it in a bottle, you know, in the fridge. I can put some car um, orange in it. Let's put orange. I can put some orange in it, and the citrus will help the carrot juice not turn brown. 
because I don't know why, but I do not like it when my characters. Oh, it's fine. Barking at my sisters outside my window. And my dad. He sees my dad every day and loves my dad. But now my dad's gone. It doesn't matter that he loves my dad or not, he growls and barks at him anyway. Slap down.